We are at Adventure Cove Activities, a place that I work this summer at Lake Powell, located on the beach just behind the Wall Weep Lodge Marina and Restaurant. All over the beach there are hundreds and hundreds of tiny holes all the way from those tree or that uh, bush and rock over there all the way to the houseboat and all the way to the blue cabanas and beyond all the way over to the cliff wall but it just amazes me that there's so many holes hundreds of them the entire length of the beach and if you haven't noticed yet the holes are created by ants and it just is a very curious thing to me why ants would dig hundreds of holes about the length of their bodies in the sand. You can see how they're very much at work. You can see this one with his, uh, just his butt poking up there. But I've never seen more than three, maybe four working on a hole at one time. One of my theories is possibly they needed wet sand to glue something together inside their home. But as you can see, all of the mud balls they dig out of there, they just leave there. My other theory might be that they're trying to get some, uh... oh, look at that. Looks like there's, that one's got like a worm or something. Maybe they're digging for worms. I don't know if you're seeing that. But it almost looked like you got a worm out of there. Anyway, maybe they're getting some minerals that washed up from the lake. But they, do, they don't dig any higher than this. They don't dig any lower. Uh, so I don't think they're after water alone to drink necessarily, they could easily get it higher up. So maybe some of you that see this might be able to answer the curious question of why ants would dig hundreds of holes along this beach. I have discovered that every single ant along the length of this beach is all from one single colony, which is located just a little ways up the shore, the beach up here. I'll take you over here. And what I did is I got a bottle and I put, grabbed an ant from way over there and dropped him right there. And there was no fighting. And I grabbed an ant from over there, dropped him here, again no fighting. And you can see how large this colony is. It's got a huge mound. And as you can see a few Customers have tormented them with rocks or as uh, digging. There he is, he's got a worm. See that? try and steal it from him so he can see it all by itself. Well here we're looking at the worms that the ants are after and this is a little bit of water and dirt inside of a uh, aquafina cap and when we watch the videos the worm looks more translucent well, it is translucent, but uh, the outer uh, skin that's more clear uh, shows up in the light of the sun and looks kind of white and shiny. But in this cap, it just looks like a, a brown worm. You can't see the skin very well that surrounds it, so I'm guessing that's probably like it's organs that we can see through the skin or something. And just 
feeling a little sad that I couldn't keep them alive. I don't know if these worms are in the water and then wash up on the beach and happen to make their home in the dirt uh, close by, and only a foot away from the water because that's where the ants are always digging. And maybe even the holes serve another purpose other than to uh, find the worms. Maybe the, the holes serve to catch the worms. Uh, I don't know. You can almost see the outline of its skin right there. Anyway, I think this might be the head and this might be the tail. Well, there's our curious worm and ant information for the day.